Hello, hello everyone. Now, how is everybody doing? I can see a lot of people in the class. Hello, hello. Good morning. Hi Neelam. Yes, I remember each and every one of you and welcome to the session guys. How is everyone doing? Had an amazing day today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. So everyone who's asking how am I doing? I am doing just amazing. So how was your day uh, till now? Like I know it's too early for everyone who's under lockdown and all. But uh, let's see. Good morning. Very good morning, everyone. Please take my name. Hi, Parth. Okay. Hi, Dhruvi. Yes, I remember each and every one of you. And I'm so glad that you people are here in the session. So welcome to the session. Uh, I hope all of you had a blast for day. Let's make day more amazing. So here we are with yet another session. And today we are going to do session number two on our rational numbers. So before we get started, I want to give a quick introduction about myself. My name is Haripriya and I will be your maths master teacher here in Vedantu. In four years of my teaching experience, I have mentored and tutored thousands of amazing students like you and helped a lot of them score 100 upon 100 in their maths exam. And I've also uh, done my master's in mathematics, as you can see. So you can clearly see the love I have towards this subject. And I want to imbibe the same kind of love in every student of mine watching this session. Right? Mentee, definitely. And the good news is we're going to start uh, the class with a mentee. Just hold on for like three minutes, maybe. Just hold on for three minutes. We're going to start off the session with a quick recap mentee of what we have done in our first session. That is rational number ka introduction session. Mein jo humne kiya hai, thode jo properties humne seekh hai. We're going to do a quick recap of all of that. Right? So yes, mentee to zaroor hoga, guys. That's, that's not even a question. Hai na? And uh, anybody else? Okay, okay, awesome. A lot of you people are here. Make sure everybody, your friends and all who are in grade 8, make sure you're calling them and telling because we're going to have an amazing session today. Before we get started with the session, do not forget to like the session because today we're going to have a lot of fun. And I want you people to show this love towards us also. And don't forget to share this video just in case if you think that someone will come to the revision or learn, share the video and subscribe to the channel because we are coming up with a lot of amazing content like this one, right? It's going to be an amazing class. Yes, my sister's name is also Hari Priya. Okay, Ramshree, high five. And uh, please say my name. Hi, Talia. And good morning, good morning. Uh, hi, Anushka Joshi. Okay, very good morning to all of you. I'm so glad all of you are here today because we are in the second session of Rational Numbers. Now, remember how uh, I gave you a homework question? Yes, give me a yo in the chat box. If you remember the homework question that I gave you, yes, 10 winners, exactly. Don't worry, we're going to start the session by acknowledging all those 10 amazing students who have answered it fast and correct. A lot of people have answered. I could see a lot of you answering, but I could only pick up only 9 or 10 names here. And uh, yes, love math. Okay, okay. Uh, very cute and amazing. Thank you, Spectrum by Vedantu fans. And let's get started here. But before we get started, I know tough times around. So I always will make sure that I will motivate you. And this morning session is the right and perfect time to do that, right? So this is one of my very favorite quotes. Stop doubting yourself, work hard and make it happen. Even though the world doubts you, even though anybody might think that it will not be able to score from 100 marks in the score karna maths, mein nahi ho paega, but let people doubt you, let whoever doubt you, but make sure you're not doubting yourself, right? Self-worth is very important. Work hard towards it because you know you can do it, right? That's enough. You don't have to show it to anybody. Work hard and show it to the world. Yes, I did it and make it happen, right? So I hope all of you are super duper motivated for the session. Let's do a quick recap of what we have learned in our previous class. In our previous class, we have seen the definition of rational number. The rational number kya tha? Anything in the form of P by Q, where your Q is not equal to zero and your P and Q both belong to integers. When this is happening, we saw that P and Q are rational numbers. Uske baad humne dekha hai, exactly, we have seen rash properties of rational numbers when it comes to addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. 
तो अच्छे बच्चे कौन था कौन थे अच्छे बच्चे कम ऑन यू टेल मी हुआ द गुड किड्स या How to take subscription of Vedantu? There will be a link which will be broadcasted. You can click on the link. Okay? Who were the good people? Tell me. Okay. Exactly. Addition and multiplication. You people are so right. So addition and multiplication were good students, whereas subtraction and division usually did not follow any property. Especially when it comes to commutative property and associative property, they did not follow. Right, but addition and multiplication followed every property possible. We have more properties to learn. That's what we're going to do today. But let's go back and see the homework that I gave. Lot of you answered it right, and I'm really proud of everyone here. So first, we have seen one by four divided by three by sixty. Everybody did a very correct answer, and you told you saw that when you divided two rational numbers, you got a rational number. राइट सो यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग मैम तो क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी तो फॉलो कर रहा था बट आपने तो बोला फॉलो नहीं करेगा दैट इज वाई आई गेव यू दैकेंड क्वेश्चन वेन यू सी दैकेंड क्वेश्चन वेन यू आर डिवाइडिंग एनी रैशनल नंबर विद जीरो वॉट वॉज इट एक्सैक्टली इट वॉज अनडिफाइंड एनी नंबर डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो इज नॉट डिफाइंड वी डू नॉट नो अ परफेक्ट आंसर फॉर दैट so that's why we say that rational numbers do not follow closure property that is what we were confused in the pre previous class right so i hope now it is clear closure property yes division of rational numbers do follow closure property but there is an exception wo exception kya hai jab aap zero se divide karte ho to aapko undefined aata hai you are not getting a rational number again right So hi Shubham Patak, I'm not okay. Hi Shubham, I'm not ignoring you. And uh, take my name. Hi Ashutosh. And uh, okay, okay, Shubham, ma'am, is it really you or is it somebody else? I I don't know. Okay, closure property division may closed. Nahi hoga. Isse pehle wale slide mein aapne kyu bataya? Please. Yes, closed nahi hoga. Kyu? क्योंकि जब आप division se zero se divide karte ho, so you are not getting a rational number. क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी का डेफिनेशन क्या था यू टेक टू राशन नंबर्स, यू परफॉर्म एन ऑपरेशन यू शुड गेट राशन नंबर इन फ्यू केसेस यू आर गेटिंग इन फ्यू केसेस यू आर नॉट इसीलिए दस वन केस वेर यू आर नॉट सो इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल एट ओके ओके सो दीज आर द टॉप नाइन विनर्स हु हैव चूजिंग and good job everyone so we have a uh, pushkar ani raghuved ruhi jo uh, joel shalini preeti divyansh samarth chaudhary and dilbag singh good job lot of people were there so many hundreds of students have answered but i have taken only few names but i will make sure that from the next one i'll take more names and more uh, this thing i will make sure that okay so okay cool let's get started what are we going to do in today's session as i told you as i promised you that we're going to start with the menti we are going to start with the menti guys so come on i want all of you to do menti and come back because we are going to have an amazing fun because we're going to learn what is the role of zero what is the role of one what is additive inverse what is reciprocal and is reciprocal different from multiplicative inverse or are they the same and then distributive property so by the end of this video you will know all of this perfectly so wait till the end but as i promised you people we will do our menti first okay pehle wala slide mein likha tha ki closure property mein division close hoga akshay hoga except zero except zero ke case mein sare cases mein hoga theek hai code is 89158641 code is 89158641 all you have to do is step number 1 go to www.mentimeter.com menti.com and then enter the menti code that you have and begin the battle right so let's see let's see okay where did our menti go are you all ready guys are you all ready yeah okay uh, guys i'm so sorry the code is something else here i'm so sorry the code is different yeah sorry i'm so sorry 266693229322 2666932 I will become I'll shrink give me a minute Okay 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 are you all able to menti is not opening why go to menti.com menti.com 
and use 26669322 a lot of people have already joined and are giving your answers to this question we will have menti after this question is just a ice breaker what is that one thing you fear the most and one thing you love the most about mathematics no fear of math numbers nothing i'm a math fan oh my god hi kalam uh, kamalashri lines and angles okay 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 i can see a lot of you you love hari priya ma'am thank you so much no fear of math at all okay fear of making silly mistakes of science exactly love it's interesting amazing amazing somebody has written perfectly nothing if we understood exactly if you understood everything it makes our job very easy all right uh, come on guys hurry up hurry up menti open kyun nahi ho raha bachcha you just have to go to menti.com not menti meter menti.com and use the code uh, 2662666932 there are a lot of people who have already joined come on guys calculation i feel a bit scared about exponents we are going to make everything easy don't worry no fear i fear with geometry in math i love solving algebraic expressions you are exactly like me even i used to fear geometry but it's very easy don't worry i love practical usage of math okay hi tarani you're a science student okay uh, i love to solve difficult problems no fear yay we're going to solve a lot of difficult problems too hi manya no fear formulas okay we're going to do an exp- Elusive session for formulas. Don't worry. Uh, I don't fear. I love solving. Uh, you teach. Uh, thing will happen. Yeah, exactly. Provided notes, notes will be provided. I fear math because I get confused and get wrong answer. Don't get confused. That's when you will end up making mistake. Toughest is integration. Easiest is permutation, combination, high five. But integration can also be made easy. Uh, silly mistakes. No love. No fear. Only love. Love algebra. Algebra in integers. Oh my God. That is amazing, guys. That's amazing. Okay, so let's move forward. A lot of you have done given a very very beautiful answers for this. So let's get started here with our first very question on Menti. Are you all ready? Yeah. Ah, uh, let's move on. What is happening? Menti is acting crazy today morning. Why? Okay. So come on, all of you are ready. Yes, the Menti is gonna start. Thank you, Arya. Hi, Nora. Thank you, Hina. Okay, you love maths already. That's amazing, amazing. Okay, let's get started, guys. If you have not entered Menti, entered right now because we are having amazing fun here. Two triple six nine three two two. Right? Chalo. Should I start? I'll start in five, four. I can only see two eighty two students here, but there are three hundred and thirteen students watching it. If you do not know, just open a new tab. Go to menti dot com and use the coupon code two six 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 nine two nine three two two. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. The code is showing wrong. The code is correct, beta. A lot of people have joined it. Joined here, okay. Ah, uh, where to send answers for homework? You can put it in the comment section below under this video. After the video ends, there's a comment section. You can put your homework uh, answers there. Okay. Okay. Let's focus. Uh, okay. Let's get started in three, two, one, and here is your next question. Rational um, numbers are associative over division. Is it true or is it false? Come on. You have very less time for this. Rational numbers are associative over division. True or false? Phone is split screen. Okay, okay, okay. A lot of you answering it right already. Times up, and majority of you have got the answer. Good one, good one. Everyone who got it, the answer is false. I told you, division and subtraction. ये दोनों कोई भी property को कैसे clarify नहीं कर, satisfy नहीं करता है क्योंकि वो अच्छे बच्चे नहीं हैं. So let's see the fastest here. And okay, superhero is the fastest and leading the leaderboard. Good one, good one. And let's move forward. And here is your next question on your screen. The third question of the nine questions that we have. Is it just my mentee acting crazy or everybody's mentee? Okay, a rational number can be a fraction, a whole number, an integer, or all of the above. A rational number can also be what? A fraction. A whole number, 
integer and all of the above. A lot of people will usually make a mistake here, but I will make sure that I will explain you, re-explain you this again. Okay, a lot of you are telling A, D, C, fraction, D, D. Come on, come on, hurry, hurry up, hurry up. And that's the time up. It was an easy peasy question. And majority of you got it right, guys. Yes, a rational number is also a fraction, is a whole number, and integer also. So basically, integers, uh, whole numbers, fractions, you take any of it, all of them belong to the family of rational numbers. Rational number is like this big brother under which you have your whole numbers, fractions, decimals, and integers. So let's see who is the fastest this time. Aditya single being the fastest. Good job, Aditya. And everyone, everyone on the fastest fingers list. Good job. So here we go with our next question on your screens. So this is going to be the last question. After this, we're going to start off with our session. If 1 by 10 is a rational number, then 0 0.1 is not a rational number. Is it true or false? I'm telling 1 by 10 is a rational number then 0 0.1 is not a rational number. Is it true or is it false? Come on, think about it. A lot of you are getting confused here. I'm not saying 0 0.1 is a rational number. I'm saying 0 0.1 is not, not a rational number. Okay, okay, come on guys, hurry up. The faster you answer, the more marks you're going to get. Let's see. Oh, a lot of people have actually, uh, you know, got confused here. Yeah? The answer is false. If 1 by 10 is a rational number, then the decimal part of it, that is 0 0.1, is also a rational number. But you have to say rational number is not a rational number. It's a wrong So we have Dhanvin, uh, Dhanvin being the fastest explained binomial theorem. We will do that when the time comes, but we don't have that in grade 8 actually. So, okay, good job everyone. Now, let's move back and do the next questions later, right? So, let's see, let's see, where were we? Now, coming, coming back to the session, today we are going to start a session with a quick, uh, what do you call it? Um, this one, what do you call? A question that I want everybody to think of, okay? Now, what is that question? If we multiply a certain number, Okay, with another number, the answer is 1. What, how is that possible and what are those numbers? You want to know more about it and how? How if we multiply a number by a certain number, the answer is 1? Let's think about it. But at the end of the session, I'm going to tell you how. You yourself will know how, right? Now, so today, the topics that we are going to take up is the role of 0, the role of 1, additive inverse, reciprocal, and distributive of rational numbers, okay? And guys, we have more Menti quizzes to come. Don't worry. After we do all these topics, which is all tiny, tiny topics, we're going to finish quickly and move on to our Menti again. I know all of you love Menti here. So yeah, starting off with the first topic, what is the role of zero? Zero is considered our hero, right? So what exactly does zero do? So when it comes to addition of a rational number with zero, the answer is the same rational number again. And 0 is called as the additive identity. Why is it called as additive identity? Because when you take a rational number, look at the example very carefully here. When you take a rational number, add it with 0, the identity of this number remains the same. Even when you take a fraction, add it with 0, the identity of the number remains the same. The value is remaining the same, right? So that's why 0 is called as additive identity. In rational number, how we will identify that the sign of operation or the sign of rational number, please explain, it's confusing. Anshika, I will tell you that when we talk about the negatives. Okay, we will tell you about that. Now, so what is the role of 0? You take 4 oranges, no, no, yeah. you take 4 oranges, add nothing to it. What is that you will be left with? You will still have 4 oranges, right? So that is the role of 0. Now, what is the role of 1? So, 0 and 1 have very special role. Now, role of 1 is very evident when we start multiplying. So, multiply any rational number with 1. The answer is again the rational number. So, 1 is the multiplicative identity of the rational number. 
For example, you take 8, multiply with 1. The value of the number, the identity of the number is the same. Ya aap koi fraction lo or 1 se multiply karo, the identity is still the same. Jo 1 by 2 hai, you take a negative number also, minus 3 by 7. Aap isko agar 1 se multiply karo ge to kya aega? Phir se aapko aega, minus 3 by 7 only. The identity of the number remains the same. Hai na? After multiplying the number with 1. Isi liye, 1 ko hum multiplicative identity and then comes the negative of a number, right? So, so what is negative of the number here? The negative of a number. So you take a number 2, okay? What is the negative of it? Minus 2. You And when you add those two numbers, plus 2 and the negative of it, that is minus 2, the answer will be 0. So if we add a negative of, negative of a number to the given number, then the answer is 0. That negative of that number is called as Additive inverse. Inverse is opposite. So, opposite of plus is minus, right? So, you take the number 8. So, what is the additive inverse? It will become minus 8. So, when you add your plus 8 and minus 8, they will basically get cancelled and it is equal to 0. Correct. Another example, 1 by 2. What is the uh, additive inverse of 1 by 2? It is minus 1. So now you tell me what is the additive inverse of minus 7 by 3 in the chat box? What is the additive inverse? Hi, my tree. Additive inverse of the negative number. Yes, that's what I'm going to tell you, Dhana. What is the additive inverse of minus 7 by 3? 7 by 3, 7 by 3. Exactly, exactly. The additive inverse of minus 7 by 3 will be plus 7 by 3. Did you understand now? Yes, Dhana, I hope you understood here. So, you take a negative rational number, then the additive inverse will be a positive one. You take a positive number, the additive inverse would be a negative one. So, if, if the number is minus 5, the number is negative, the additive inverse is a positive one. If the number is a positive number, then the additive inverse will be a negative one. How cute is that, Jim? Right? Okay. Now, so what is reciprocal then? Okay. How many of you know... Uh, the is there okay let me ask you this question what is the difference between reciprocal and multiplicative inverse you tell me tell me. yes uh, vignesh 0 0.1 and uh, sorry 1.0 and 1 by 10 both are rational numbers multiplicative inverse and reciprocal are they the same yes or no ulta of a number what that's what priya says ulta of a number okay Screen is blur. It's maybe because of the webcam, guys. Same, same. Both are same. Achha, okay. Let's see if they are the same or not. Now, uh, I don't know why this is. So, reciprocal of a number. You take a number, okay. 8. Let's take 8. 8 can be written as 8 by 1. So, the reciprocal of it will become 1 by 8. So, what is this? When you multiply a number and it's reciprocal, you will be getting 1. So, you take a negative number minus 2. Minus 2 can be written as minus 2 by 1. What is the reciprocal of it? The reciprocal is minus 1 by 2. So, when you multiply your 2 and minus 1, minus 2 and minus 1 by 2, you would get the answer as 1. So, what is that minus 2 and minus 1 by 2 called as? They're called as multiplicative inverse of each other, right? Exactly. The numerator goes to the denominator. The denominator goes to the numerator, right? So, if you take a number minus 7 by 3, what is the reciprocal of minus 7 by 3? Let me see who answers it first. What is the reciprocal of minus 7 by 3? Yes, Akshay, you are right. Ananya got it. Nora got it. Julie got it. Dhavni, Rohit, Dance Pechant, Navya, Rocking. Okay, amazing. What if you have got the answer? Correct. So, the reciprocal or the multiplicative inverse of minus 7 by 3 here would be minus 3 by 7. Or jab aap in dono ko multiply karte ho, minus 7 by 3 multiplied by minus 3 by 7. So, answer kya hoga? The answer would become 1 always. Got it? So, this is the concept of reciprocal. 
and pair the last one which is the distributivity of multiplication over addition right so now this is something a lot of people get confused so i'm going to break it into a smaller section here suppose you have three numbers let's not take rational numbers thoda confusing ho jayega let's take three numbers x y and z so x multiplied by y plus z can be written as x multiplied with y plus y plus because there is a plus here multiplied by x multiplied with z right so x multiplied by y plus x multiplied by z now if you have a rational number it has to be in the form of p by q so a by b of c by d plus e by f so what is that we have a by b multiplied by c by d plus a by b multiplied by e by so this is your distributive property why is it called multiplication over addition because yahan pe hum multiplication kar rahe hain over addition can it be over subtraction the answer is yes to so chalo ek sawal karte hain yahan pe your a is equal to 1 by 8 your b is equal to 1 by 9 and your c is equal to 1 by 10 i want all of you to do it along with me reciprocal of a number is its multiplicative inverse correct you are right you are right nidhi art creation you are totally correct and komal hans perfect you have nailed it i love about math as hari priyama oh shanta thank you so much distributive or uh, is two types addition and subtraction exactly lipika shri you are right now so what is distributive property here says a multiplied by b plus c will give you a multiplied with b plus a multiplied with c so what are they asking you they are asking you to prove so whenever they ask you to prove or show that you have to show them that your left hand side is equal to your right hand side so what is our left hand side a multiplied by b plus c so that is 1 by 8 multiplied by 1 by 9 plus 1 by 10 तो यहां पे हमें क्या करना होगा फर्स्ट सॉल्व व्हाट इज देयर इनसाइड द ब्रैकेट एंड देन व्हाटएवर आंसर यू गेट मल्टीप्लाइड विद 1 बाय 8 ये हो गया हमारा एलएचएस तो इसका आंसर लेट्स से कैपिटल ए आ गया लेट्स अज्यूम ठीक है इसका मैं इन डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन दिखाऊंगी देन यू हैव ए बी प्लस ए सी दैट इज 1 बाय 8 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 1 बाय 9 प्लस 1 बाय 8 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 1 बाय 10 Now, इसका आंसर भी आपको ए आएगा सी माई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज दिस वेर आई गॉट दी आंसर इज माइनस सॉरी प्लस नाइनटीन बाई सेवन ट्वेंटी एंड देन माई राइट हैंड साइड ऑल्सो आई गॉट द सेम आंसर सो आई प्रूव माई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू योर राइट हैंड साइड करेक्ट यस डेड एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड गिव मी अ हार्ट इन द चैट बॉक्स राइट नाउ इफ यू अंडरस्टूड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी Give me a heart. You are in 88th place. Okay, okay. Yes, formula exactly common. Will we do NCERT solutions, Aditya? Definitely, we will do NCERT solutions. Don't worry about it. Yes, everybody understood. That is amazing. I'm getting a lot of hearts here, and that is making me happy. Now let's solve a quick question here. Okay, the first question is. write the additive inverse of each of the following let's go with the first one what is the additive inverse of minus 2 by 17 let me see how many of you will answer it right in the chat box let me see who gets it right additive inverse additive inverse of minus 2 by 17 let's see let's see who gets it right let me see exactly who is that who is that Ria, Ria, your Lily got it right. Good job, good job, guys. Don't get confused between additive inverse and multiplicative inverse. Additive inverse, take a negative number, make a positive of it. It is additive inverse. Multiplicative inverse, multiply. Multiplicative inverse, yeah. Reciprocal, kya hoga iska? Minus seventeen by two. बहुत सारे बच्चे minus seventeen by two लिख रहे हैं. Shri Vidya, the wrong beta. It's not minus seventeen by two. It is. 2 by 17 plus 2 by 17. What about 3 by minus 11? What about 3 by minus 11? What is it? 3 by minus 11 का क्या होगा? 3 by okay, 3 by 11. Exactly. Sunil has got it right. So additive inverse is take a number. The negative if the number is positive, 
the additive inverse please yahan rakhna please additive inverse is negative of a number if you take a negative number the additive inverse is positive of the same number reciprocal alag hai multiplicative inverse and reciprocal are the same right the next one is you're going to verify to so, jab bhi sawal aaye verification ka kya karna hoga aapko you have to show that your left hand side is equal to your right hand side correct to so, aapko yahan pe x y aur z ke values substitute karke aapka left hand side first solve karo फिर राइट हैंड साइड सॉल्व करो और देखो कि अगर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड इक्वल हो रहा है या नहीं हो रहा है तो इन दिस केस द आंसर इज यस हो रहा है तो व्हेन योर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू योर राइट हैंड साइड यू कैन से दैट यस योर एलएच इज इक्वल टू आरएच इज द प्रॉपर्टी इज गेटिंग सॉल्व्ड राइट सो आई एम गोना टेक अ क्विक डाउट्स या बिफोर वी मूव टू मेंटी इट्स नॉट मेंटी मीटर इट इज ओनली मेंटी डॉट ठीक है मेंटी डॉट कॉम और ये कोड नहीं है बच्चा आई डोट नो वाई दे डिड नॉट एनी वेज लेट मी जस्ट गो बैक टू देंटी स्लाइड सो दैट ओके कमान दिस इज द कोड द कोड इज गिवेन ऑन योर स्क्रीन एनी डाउट मैम इक्वेशन रियली ट्रू यस 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 वी गोट ट्राई दैट इन एक्सपोनेंस एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी एक्सप्लेन मी अगेन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव युक्ता इज multiplication over addition so you take a multiplied by b plus c so that a which is outside gets multiplied to the b and c inside so a multiplied by b plus a multiplied by c please uh, reply hi okay distributive property i've already done it negative reciprocal can you explain again so honey let's take a number minus 7 by 11 okay so it's a negative number negative rational number minus 7 by 11 तो उसका पॉज इसका रेसिप्रोकल क्या होगा माइनस इलेवन बाई सेवन माइनस सेवन बाई इलेवन विल बिकम माइनस इलेवन बाई सेवन ठीक है हाय स्नेहल मैम नेगेटिव आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड अबाउट नेगेटिव प्लीज टेक माय नेम हाय सुहानी ओके 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 Please explain the rational number. How will we identify that the sign of the operation or the sign of the rational number? Uh, Anushka, it depends on how the question is framed, beta. So if it is written plus of minus seven by six, so that minus belongs to that rational number minus seven by six. So brackets will indicate and tell you how to find the number. Okay, I will tell you at the end again with an example. New student, please take my name. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. So let's get started with Menti. Yes, please start Menti. Here is your next quiz question. Let me go small here before you people all freak out. Okay. Chalo. Fifth question on your screens. So let me see how many of you were carefully listening to me here. Thirteen minus zero plus seven minus eight plus zero. So this will indicate the role of zero here. How to make number? You can make any number, Aman. What do you mean by how to make number? So Mar Singh, please, apna answer, uh, apna doubt, jo bhi hai, ap likh do. Agar yahan pe nahi ho raha hai, to comment section pe likh dena. Guys, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe the video if you had uh, so much fun in the session. Don't forget to like. Let me see. Are there likes? Okay, good. Come on, I want all of you watching this session. If you loved it, if you understood it, uh, the entire session, please do not forget to like. and subscribe to the channel if you are new and amazing majority of you have got the correct answer yes the answer is 12 what is the role of zero zero agar hai ya nahi hai farak nahi padta hai hai na so let's look at the lead board here and who is the fastest who is the fastest aditya is the fastest again good job everyone let's move on to the next question everybody on the lead board you're doing a great work Your sixth question on your screens. Hi Pallavi, do you remember me? I used to attend your classes on Vedantu platform. Hi Ani, An 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 Anisha. Yes, I remember you. Hello. What is rational number? Ah, where are you coming from, Sumar? Sumar, rational number is anything in the form of p by q, where your q is not equal to zero, and your p and q can be integers. So, आप मेरा पहला सेशन देख सकते हो उसका रिप्ले में मैंने सब कुछ बताया है. What is rational number? The link is in the description below. can all fractions be rational numbers yes all fractions are rational numbers 
Okay, a lot of you are giving the correct answer already. Amazing people who did not join, join right away. Two six 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 nine three two two. Go to menti dot com and that's it. You are right there. Awesome. A lot of you answered it right, but many got confused here. One by two multiplied by one multiplied by four by one. So the answer would be one by two multiplied by four. That is only two. Two and four will get cancelled. Okay, let us look at the leaderboard here. And the uh, fastest is Le Ledge. I don't know how to pronounce that, but the robot emoji. You're doing great. Everyone on the leaderboard, you're doing a great work. Guys, after Menti, we do have a homework question that I'll give you. Again, the rule is the same. You do the homework question, answer, put the answer in the chat box. I will take the top ten people. And display your name in my next class. Do not forget to like this, like this video if you loved it. When one by thirteen was multiplied by a certain number, the answer was one. What type of number was it? जब हमने एक rational number लिया one by thirteen और उसको एक number से multiply किया, उसका answer था one. तो वो number क्या है? Operations, uh, what all operations can a distributive property be applied? Uh, it can be only applied multiplication over addition, multiplication over subtraction. That's it. Okay. Come on, guys. The timer is ending. Let me see how many of you were carefully listening here. Okay. See, बहुत सारे लोगों ने गलत कर दिया ये वाला. The answer is option number C. I will explain you this. One by thirteen. का मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स क्या है 13. तो व्हेन यू मल्टीप्लाई योर 1 बाय 13 विथ 13, 13 13 विल गेट कैंसिल एंड यू आर रिमेनिंग विथ 1. सो दैट्स व्हाई दैट सर्टेन नंबर इज द मल्टीप्लिकेटिव इनवर्स ऑफ 1 बाय 13 व्हिच इज 13 बाय 1. राइट? ओके बगीरथी आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दैट बच्चा प्लीज से माय नेम हाय साई विद सैट विद द योर फिजिक्स क्लास Okay, let's see who's the fastest. I am Kushbu, not Neha. Is the fastest. Yes, how do you come up with such names? And Komal Hans, I love you too. Chalo, let's move on to the next one here. And here's your next question. Lipica, Lipica. There are different types of property uh, properties: closure, commutative, associative, distributive, additive inverse, additive identity, multiplicative inverse. The reciprocal of minus seven by five is, guys. Iska to sab log ko sahi jawab dena padega. Every single person should give a correct answer for this. Reciprocal of minus seven by five. Dhyan rakna sign. Yahan pe negative sign hai. You have to be very careful when you have negative sign. Hi, Jhan V. Two, one. Time up. Let us look at the top ten. Everyone who's got it right, amazing! Good job, everyone who has got it right. The correct answer here is uh, the reciprocal of minus seven by five is minus five by seven. Let us look at the leaderboard. Who is the fastest? Was answered it fast and correct. Hi, uh, Shivangi. Hello, Aditya. Being the fastest, that's amazing. Let's move on to our next question, which is displayed on your. Screens. Oh, that's it. Okay, so this is how the final leaderboard is going to look like. Even I lost the count of questions. Okay, Shalini Varma, please don't do that. Uh, explain closure property. Poonam closure property. I have already explained. Kar diya hai. To previous video ja ke dekh lena. Thik hai? Aditya, you are already. You put your name already as the winner. Good job, Aditya, and everyone on the leaderboard. All of you have done a great work. Keep it up. Now let's uh, look at the homework question that we want to do. Now uh, before the homework question, okay, let me just quickly display it. Okay, homework question on your screens. Three by five multiplied by thirty-five by twenty-four plus ten by one. Second one is two by seven multiplied by. 7 by 16 minus 21 by 4. Quickly write down this because people who have got it right, people who have answered it right, the top 10 names. I'm gonna pick up from the comment section. Put your answer in the comment section. Okay. Uh, you have to give me the example of. Ah, a 
Amshika, this is where it is. Suppose you have minus 7 by 3 of minus 3 by 2 plus of minus 7 by 11. So this minus 7 by this plus is the addition that you have to do. And this minus is the sign of the rational number. This minus is also the sign of the rational number. That addition is the operation. Did you understand? And a lot of people made a mistake. 1 by 13. The multiplicative inverse is 13 by 1. So when you multiply them, the answer is 1. Okay. Any other doubts? Do not forget to do the, uh, do the uh, homework question and put it in the comment section. Because the top 10 names, I'm going to take, take it in my next video. Any doubts, guys? Subscription coupon code is YHPRO. The link is already pinned here. You can visit the website and take it up. Okay. Chalo. So do not forget to like, share and subscribe the video. It was amazing to teach you all here. So I hope all of you also had fun in the session. Yes, put it in the comment section. What more do you want? Uh, what more are you expecting out of this video? What all do you want to see in this channel? Put it in the comment section. I'm going to reply to each and every comment section uh, to whatever you ask and say. Put your doubts also there. Do not forget to like this video. Like the video right now if you did not like, the, uh, did not like it yet. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe the video. Right? So see you all in my next master class, next uh, class on YouTube. Until then, I want all of you to stay safe. Wear your mask, sanitize your hands, stay home. Do not go out anywhere. Right? So this is your master teacher, Hari Priya, signing off. See you all in my next class. Bye-bye.